Hi guys, uh, Tammy here. Um, thought I'd just check in from my seated meditation practice this morning. I've challenged myself to sit for six minutes every day this summer um, since I'm off of school. And I definitely have the time and the devotion, so I'm hoping that I can make it a daily part of my routine and keep it going through the school year. Um, why does it seem overwhelming to sit down and meditate for six minutes? And it doesn't even have to be six minutes. I mean, if you're starting out, it could be like one minute, two minutes. That would be plenty. Uh, why, 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 why is it such a challenge? I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to take it easy on myself. I've been having a lot more anxiety this summer, um, this year in general than I had been the previous few years. And um, I just think it's really important um, to clear the mind and to not be listening to the stories that the mind is telling me. So just practicing um, very simply sitting upright, um, placing some crystals, some different energy around me to help me get all the help I can get. And just a simple breathing technique um, where I'm breathing hung saw. So when you inhale and exhale, in through the nose, out through the nose, you're hearing as you release the tongue and the throat opens, you're hearing hum and saw as you exhale. So um, just staying with that and letting that breath be really soothing and quiet and the focus of attention, um, breathing into those, um, breathing into those sounds as a device to hold the mind's attention, but also noticing that in the pause in between, when the breath is either out, um, what we call an empty chalice, or in what we call a full chalice, those pauses between inhales and exhales, those are the moments um, where you're probably going to feel that the mind is the most quiet. Um, so noticing that, um, and then when thoughts pop into your awareness, as mine just did continually <laughs> this morning, just saying to yourself, well, that's a thought, and then releasing it. Because we're not our thoughts, um, and we want to be compassionate with the mind. The mind is made to think and is helpful to us. Our thoughts are powerful. They can change our lives, or they can... Um, Keep us stuck. So, but realizing and categorizing thoughts, I think, as you begin a meditation practice, really important. So you could just say, well, that's a thought of the future. That's a thought of the past. That's like the story of me. Um, just realizing that they're subjective. And um, then releasing away from them and turning your attention back to the breath without any judgment or criticism, just being really compassionate with yourself. That's the most important part because you want this to be an enjoyable practice or else you won't keep coming back to it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be checking in, um, letting you know how the meditation's going. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm also, hopefully I'll be posting some videos with some different um, cleansing practices, pranayamas, just different things I do um, to create mindfulness and calm in my life so that I'm not reliant um, on medication or drama or other things um, to kind of get through these trying times. <laughs> All right. Namaste. Bye-bye.